Hey guys, Jonathan Smith here, uh, another tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you guys how today to make uh, mouse over images. Like uh, here I've built a uh, navigation area on this. Uh, it's not really going to be my website, it's just something to play around with while I show you guys how to do different things on uh, Yahoo Site Builder. Um, I'm also going to show you how to add this as well. Anyway, um, to get started, um, pretty much you need to have Adobe Fireworks or uh, Photoshop open. Uh, remember, this is going to be the final product of what we have. Alright, uh, open up Adobe Fireworks. You see this uh, box I have here. Um, the box is simply just uh, this tool right here. That's called the Rectangle Tool. You can change that to a circle if you like by hitting a U hotkey. Or you can have an octagon, I think that is. I think it's a polygon or something like that. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, pretty much I have two boxes. That's all it is. I'm going to hit Control V. Or Z, I mean. Control Z is the um, undo button, a hotkey. Alright, go in here and type your text. I'm going to type text. Oops. That's all right. It looks cool like that. <laughs> Get it centered up real well, and I'm gonna change the color to a light gray type color. That's what I've been doing for the website. I'm gonna file, save as. I'm gonna save this as text since I have it as text already. All right. Now I'm gonna go into Yahoo Site Builder. I'm gonna insert this image. Or you can hit Control S I. Let's find pictures. CC text. CC is a uh, clickle. It's just so I can keep organized. Uh, I'm gonna put it right here so it can be better viewed. All right. Now you have to go back into Adobe Fireworks and change the text color again. Change the text color, and here is gonna be uh, black. Alright, I'm gonna file, say, I mean, yeah, file, save as, and I'm gonna put a number two there because it's a second image of the same thing. It's so I know which one's gonna be the mouse over. You wanna go to your button that you just made, the first one with the lighter gray text area. Right click that, click on properties, and then you wanna click on mouse over image browse button. Now you wanna find that text two. Like I told you, it's an easy way to keep organized. Now, we're gonna hit OK. And we're going to preview this to see if it worked, which I know it did, but, you know, you always want to check. See how it highlights? Now, before it wouldn't highlight, it would just look like look like, like it does when you mouse over. It wouldn't do nothing, but now it highlights. All right, let's show you how to get this right here. What you want to do is go to my website, coolycool.com, um, and uh, click on the Share Save button. When you uh, get to here, you'll see a bunch of little programs that you can share my website on. On the right here, click on Get the Button. Now, you can uh, choose the type of button. You want a subscribe widget or just a share bookmark, which I, I recommend the share bookmark because people can bookmark you and share you. You can have either one of these buttons right here. Now, or you can click on here to get more. You want to type in the page name. In my case, it's HTTP colon slash slash www.coolycool.com. Well, actually, I'm sorry, I got ahead of myself. That's where that goes. HTTP colon slash slash www. And then this right here would be the title of the page. That's what I would put there. Then you click on get the button. And then you just copy and paste this into a, a, a text button on your computer. You want to go up here and click on Insert Text. You want to make that a little bit smaller. And you want to right click the, uh, instead of double clicking the text edit to edit the text, right click it and click on HTML. Inside the button is what you want to put the uh, script or the HTML. And then you want to push OK and then preview in the browser. That's it for today, guys. Thank you.